Hello, everybody. Welcome to What the Flick. Alonzo Duraldi, Ben Mankiewicz, episode seven of season four of Downton Abbey. This thing is almost winding up. I can't believe it. Um, Mary gets muddy and uh, Edith does not get an abortion. <laughs> um, do you think all three of those guys will fuck Mary at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> She, she, uh, uh, <laughs> she, you know, look, everybody is chasing her as they always tend to do. And now, and, and you knew that because she and Charles Blake hated each other, that of course, of course. That they were going to develop, right? Yes. And, and then poor Evelyn, who seems like the. In like a distant it, it, third. The Ralph Bellamy, yeah, right. the Evelyn, has just never had a chance. Yeah. He lost out to Mr. Pamuk and now to, to Charles. Yeah, right. uh, so yeah, so it's the, nothing like sloshing around in the mud in the barn, which I hope was just mud, if they're putting it on each other's faces. Let's, like let's We had talk. a lengthy discussion about whether or not there was pig poop and all that, but you know. Uh, uh, I thought a very, um, although again, I guess you, you might get to a point where you stop caring. Right. I, that's true. But, yeah. it, it, it's right. all They're irrelevant. Down in it, it's all yeah. over the place. But I, one thing I like that, that doesn't always happen on, on in television is that uh, no ignorance from Mary. Like when you know when Evelyn says, you know, well, I, you know, except now I know that there's a, you know somebody else in the competition. Mm -hmm. and then he walks off, and she sighs like, ugh, like <laughs> all of them. You know, like like she gets it. Yeah, she her knows, lot in life. Yeah, she knows that three men are are after her, and she's right. still excited that Tony gets here, and Tony obviously is jealous of Blake, and, um, uh, and what does he say? Yeah, what's his wife's name? Uh, Ma um, Mabel? Ma Ava? Something, yeah, I forget. Something. Yeah, he doesn't know either. Something uh, Fox. <laughs> something Fox, yeah. Uh, so she's, I mean, she's interested in all of them. Yes. Um, but, of course, this time he brings his valet. The valet, so yeah, which I think was the real reason to bring him back, was because right. the, 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 there was going to be a, sh a showdown with the valet. And, of course, everyone, for a show that where people are constantly, like, telling white lies and faint, doing feints and fakes, like, there was, there was, could not have been more of a neon sign for poor Anna when she sees the guy that, like, I mean, Bates just is immediately zeroing in on everything. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, uh, but I imagine that's, I mean. But it's a traumatic event. No, I mean, yeah, I get it, you right, know. Walking but in on the guy who got away with uh, no, sexually no, 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 assaulting no, absolutely. you. absolutely. And, and, and then for the fucking valid to make such a big thing about not having been at the concert, it's like, oh, come on, stop. You're burying your grave even more here. Right, know? but he, of course, has a guy who feels like I'm a, I'm a man. Yeah, he's this, top, of, uh, the top of the world. He doesn't care. Right, right. Nothing right. touches me. You know, I'm just messing with her, and you know. So, uh, but there's no way Bates doesn't. I mean, we, we the last shot was Bates. You know. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I think I think he gets stopped in the nick of time. I Probably so. by Mrs. Hughes, because she's fixing everything this she's season. She's fixing everything. But, um, but he's gonna fi certainly he's gonna figure it out. No, and he's gonna get yeah, he'll get real close to killing him, but I don't think he's gonna do it. I also, hope but how about uh, but also Mrs. Hughes with the you know, uh, you know, if you want to leave this house alive. Yeah. Like, you know, she's uh, and she went right in there. Mm. Like, you know, you would have thought maybe everybody would just sort of... Pussyfoot around her. Yeah, yeah no, get around, she's, just get him out of the house. Get yeah, him out yeah. of the house. Well, no, that, that was reserved for Alfred. Uh, <laughs> in the most convoluted plot thing that right. went yeah, nowhere, nowhere, you know. A lot of... Like, at one point... I mean, again, I, I don't want the show to be typical, but at what point is Alfred going to be like, wait a minute, she's plenty cute. <laughs> and she likes me. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I just go out with the other one? <laughs> it's always the friend, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you know, I, I, I like the 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 Violet and Isabel stuff this week. Oh yeah, that was good. You know, and, and then when they're playing cards. Uh, you know, how long does the game go on? Oh, it takes ages. Oh, oh goody. Good, oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> that almost seemed genuine. Like, it couldn't have been, but it almost seemed genuine. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think if nothing else, the uh, the show's done a good job up to this point, and I think we'll continue where, like, they get on each other's nerves in various ways, but there is a grudging respect there, and I think they're both sort of the the old widows, you know. Right. I mean, they are, they, they kind of occupy similar, they may not be on the same social strata, but they occupy a similar place in the, in, at the Abbey, you know, in the family, and so you know, better to get along a little than not at all because they're going to be stuck together anyway. Uh, so we got uh, Tom's budding romance. Clearly, I'm sure oh, we'll, right. we'll yes. be back to uh, to that girl who mm -hmm. gave him the chair. Uh, Mary was just much more lively than ever. Yeah. Like, I mean, she really is 
come out of it. You know, yeah. it wasn't just the scene in the mud, but it was the cooking the breakfast. It was the oh, yeah. way she who, smiled at her father. Who right? knew she could scramble eggs? Yeah. I mean, because remember, Sybil had to take like an intensive course in boiling water right. when she wanted to become a nurse. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, the scene that I liked best, or that sort of made me smile most, was the humanity from the t probably the two least appealing characters. Uh, Thomas and Jimmy. Like, hmm. Jimmy, like, jealous, but not in a horrible way, about, oh, wouldn't that be great to go? I'd love to go. Have a great time. Mm. Thomas saying, yeah, wouldn't, isn't this wonderful? I won't be, believe me, I won't be questioning it. What a wonderful adventure. <laughs> and you stop moping around. I hope to see you with some girl all happy when I get back. Like, there was like, Oh look, they're normal for yeah, a they brief have a moment. Soul they in have there. a little soul. Right? And I did. You have, you gotta love uh, Lord Grantham and Mary's conversation about Thomas and the stewards. You know, yeah, how do you know of such things? I'm a married woman. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, don't so be, don't be vulgar. <laughs> I was hoping we were going to get some Shirley MacLaine out of this, but it's, I guess it's all just shipping Robert off to the set of Monuments maybe Men instead. Chris, maybe the uh, right, <laughs> maybe uh, maybe uh, Chris, maybe the Christmas. That's special. true. There, that's a possibility. And of course, many people already know because they. Yes, already I know. Seen Shh, it. don't tell us. Um, but uh, um, I did. Uh, I, I of course you also like the idea. So we now know that clearly. Uh, uh, Cora's brother Harold, mm, right. whom Robert is going to rescue, and so, so he's involved in the Teapot Dome scandal, right. the Harding administration, and the selling the oil bogus leases, leases. for yeah. Um, and it was a really first sort of big modern scandal right. in American government. <laughs> but again, there's this great notion that no, no. Robert will solve all this. Because <laughs> he's so good in this sort of situation. Yeah. Financial woes are at hand. <laughs> Lord Grantham's the man to get us out of this. Now, and uh, Lady Edith, let's not leave out. I mean, okay. I, I called it that she was going to, that the person she would tell would be Rosamond. Totally. Yep. That she was close enough, but distant enough, and, you know. Um, I'm noticing now there are two popular trends of dealing with pregnant women in the media and in like TV and movies. One is the peeing on a plastic stick and staring at it scene. Mm -hmm. that, that's almost becoming a cliche now. Mm -hmm. Can't do it for this show. You gotta kill a rabbit instead, I suppose. But right. you know, uh, Carrie Madison still has a whole drawer, drawer full to make right. up for them, so that's good. Um, but there's also the almost getting an abortion scene where they go to the clinic and then they see something or somebody says something or somehow right, they get second, right, right, yeah, right. and then bam, out of there like a shot. And it's like, okay, fine, don't have the abortion. You know, that's that's a, a way to play it. But it almost feels like a lot of times that that shows want credit for the daring of even broaching the notion, but then lest they get angry mail from people who blow up clinics or whatever, they immediately backpedal from it. And I don't know, it seems to me like you could have a character come to that conclusion in another way. I just, I feel like I've seen that scene like four or five times lately. Yeah, that's, I agree. I mean, because her reasons for not having it, look, this is the man I love, and why can't I have the baby of the man I love, a baby that if it happened in two months, would be incredibly welcomed, so I'm gonna keep this baby. Right. It's a totally reasonable thing to yeah. say, but you don't have to go through this machination and this suggestion that you're, because it's not just that it's illegal, but the suggestion that you're doing something morally indefensible by being at the clinic. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's such a no-win situation because obviously, yes, if, you know, this man that she loves is dead, then she would wanna have the baby, but at the same time, she's living in one of the most you know, judgy and, and and prescribed sort of societal eras in the course of human history. You know, she's, you know, early 20th century England and she's a nobility. You know, uh, it is no minor thing for her to, you know, have a child out of wedlock. I mean, the, 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 the next scenes from next week intimate that wedlock may be impending, but you know, um, Oh, you I know. didn't see that. I didn't see it. Oh, God, I'll, I'll say no more. All right. Um, but, you know, I, I think, you know, that you're throwing in a whole extra level of, it's not just a matter of, like, her being selfish or whatever. It's like, there is there's genuine, like, ostracism. There's genu like a genuine social price to pay for her to make this decision in that era, you know. So is, the, is, is, is Gregson's vanishing, you know, everybody's worried about what the hell she signed. Right, oh, right, right, right. But is that going to turn out to be, no, she just signed to get power of attorney and now he's dead, so she's going to control, control his, the, the newspaper yeah, or whatever. I, oh. Maybe that'll be it. So you do think he's dead? I don't know. I, I you know, it's, it's Munich what? in 1922. I mean, anything's yeah. possible, I guess. Yeah, you know. I don't know. It seems uh, 
but you know, Cora's right. Like you don't just die. Like they find you right. and identify you, especially if you're of stature. Yes, it's not like how uh, there's some riffraff. Right, it's not like how uh, Gaudi was killed in Barcelona, uh, walking one night back to church to work on whatever the thing he was working on <laughs> then. And he got killed by a, 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 a you know, a, a, what do they call the trains then? Whatever. A, the, like a trolley? Or like a tro- he got hit by a trolley driver who didn't stop because he's like, I thought he was a transient. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished my route. <laughs> and so later he was like, oh my God, I hit Gaudi. I'm Oops. so sorry. If <laughs> I, I, had I known. Right, right, right. No, seriously, like if I'd known I'd hit somebody who mattered, I would have stopped the route and called God. for help. And he oh. lived like four days. Like who oh, knows whether man. help would have... Yeah, so instead he laid in a ditch for eight hours because they because the driver's like, eh, eh bum. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Right, yeah. but Gregson is no bum. No, 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 clearly, yeah. and and his firm is looking for him. Like there's, the, yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, it's a weird story. It's a, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's not a bad storyline. I, I don't understand. I don't quite what's happening. There. No, it's it's definitely they're 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 building to an interesting whodunit. Oh, and like guy, let's not forget Rose and the jazz guy. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to end so poorly, like if Rose's ignorance about this, like you admire her spirit and her lack of uh, bigotry and her mm. openness and so forth, but you want to say, hey, you know, you, only one person's going to get killed if this goes wrong. And I don't know what life in 1923 mm. London was, but only one person is in danger right. because of this. And right. it's Jack, not you. Yeah. You know, yeah, you'll be shunned, but... Yeah, we'll send you back to Scotland or whatever, but you know, right. yeah, he's but, in. But this guy, this guy, this guy will vanish. Right. So, so uh, uh, I, I hope, obviously, not. But I don't, I don't, I don't, find, I don't, I'm not vested enough in Rose to care. She has been written as such a flibberty gibbet, you know, yeah. that it's hard to kind of really. All of her her interests and her 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 passions seem just flighty and and yeah. and and transient and so it's yeah and it's, she it's hard stomps her feet when she you know, yeah she's yeah. A, she's a petulant teenager so it's hard to kind of really be invested in her Cousin Robert did put me in charge it's of fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right so uh the next week is it it's the season finale except it's not because it's right, down now there's the christmas special and, and do we get that right afterwards presumably? i think so yeah right. so so two more two more recaps and we're out again